Um, the next question is um, we have three lines. The line L, M, N, N, which are parallel to each other. Line M is parallel to N. Line M is parallel to N. All three lines are parallel to each other. And there is a transversal which I am intersecting these three lines. That's a transversal is T. And this angle is X. This angle is Y. And this angle is Z. It is given that the ratio of y is to z is 3 is to 7. y is to z is 3 is to 7. And we have to find x, y, and z. What are the values of x, y, and z? No. So uh, it is given that L, M, N, and N are parallel to each other. And there is a transversal D. And the ratio of y is to z. y is to z is 3 is to 7. Now, as L is parallel to M, as L is parallel to M, and M is parallel to, as L parallel to M parallel to N, we can say that L is parallel to M. So, angle, the value of X is equals to Z. Angle X is equals to angle Z because alternate interior angles. Angle X equals to angle Z because alternate interior angles. Now, uh, angle X equals to angle Z. Now, and we know that as L is parallel to M, as L is parallel to M, as L is parallel to M, angle X plus angle Y, angle X plus angle Y equals to 180 degree. Angle X plus angle Y is equals to 180 degree because co interior angles because X and Y form the co interior angles and the sum of the co interior angle is 180 degree. Now, uh, as we know that angle X is equal to angle Z, we can put instead of X here we put Z. Z plus Y equals to 180 degree because as we already proved that angle X is equal to angle Z. Now, in the question it is also given that the ratio of Y is to Z is 3 is to 7. The ratio of Y and Z are 3 is to 7. As it is given that Y is to Z is 3 is to 7. Let's say angle Y is equal to 3 and angle Z is equal to 7. Now we have to put these values in, in this equation, that is equation number 1. Put angle y and angle z values in first equation. So for z we put 7 and for y we put 3 equals to 180 degree. So tan A equals to 180 degree. So A is equals to 180 divided by tan that is 18 degree. So the value of A is 18 degree. So we can say that angle Y is equals to 3 which is equals to 3 into 18 degree which is equals to 54 degree. And angle Z is equals to 7 which is equals to 7 into 18 which is equals to 126 degree and we know that the angle x is equals to angle x is equals to angle z angle x is equals to angle z therefore the angle x is equals to 126 degree so the values of x y and z are x is 126 degree y is 54 degree and z is 126 degree now we move to the next question uh, prove that the opposite angle of a parallelogram are equal. Prove that opposite angle 
of a parallelogram r equal to that the opposite angle of a parallelogram r equal let's say a b c d is a parallelogram let's see a b c d is a, as a b c d is a parallelogram and in parallelogram we know that the opposite sides are so a b is parallel to c d and a d is parallel to d c now uh, as a b is parallel to c d therefore angle a plus angle d equals to 180 degree because alternate interior angles because a and d form the co interior angles and the sum of the co interior angles is 180 degree in the same way because now in the same way angle d plus angle c is also equal to 180 degree because the line ad is so these two angles form a co interior angle and the sum of the co interior angle is 180 degree now from these two equations we see that the right hand sides are equal so their left hand sides are also equal so we can say that angle a plus angle d is equal to angle d plus angle c so angle d is cancelled with angle d so we get angle a is equal to angle c so the opposite angles that is angle a and angle c are equal in case of now we move to the next question now in the given figure we have to find the value of it is given that this line l is parallel to L. L is parallel to L. And this angle is let's say 120 degree. And this angle is 100 degree. We have to find the value of I find for finding the X we have to plot we have to draw a line. We have to draw a line from this point which is parallel to L as well as M. We will draw a line N which is parallel to N which is parallel to L as well as parallel to M. So as this angle is 120 degree and this angle is 100 let's say this angle is 1 and this angle is 2. As L is parallel to L so 120 degree plus angle 1 should be equals to 180 degree because they form a co interior angle pair. Angle 1 plus 120 degree is equals to 180 degree because co interior angle sum is 180 degree. Therefore, angle 1 is equals to 180 minus 120 that is 60 degree. The line N is parallel to M also. Therefore, angle 2 plus 100 degree is also equals to 180 degree because they form a co-interior angles again therefore angle 2 is equals to 180 minus 100 which is to be 80 degree now from the figure the value of x the value of x is nothing but the sum of angle 1 and angle 2 so angle 1 is 60 degree and angle 2 is 80 degree so the value of x is 140 so our answer is 140 degree. Now we move to the next question. The line L is parallel to M. And this angle is 30 degree. And this angle is 40 degree. And we have to find the value of X. For solving this problem, again we have to construct one line which is parallel to L as well as parallel to M. This is 30 degree and this is 40 degree. We have to construct a line L. Construct a line L which is parallel to L as well as parallel to M. Now, Let's say this angle is 1 and this angle is 2. So, as L is parallel to N, angle 1 is equal to 30 degree because 
is forming a z that is angle 1 and 30 degree forming an alternate interior angle here so they are equal alternate interior angles so angle 1 equals to 30 degree now n is parallel to m n is parallel to m again z is forming that is angle 2 is equal to angle 40 degree angle 2 is equals to 40 degree again alternate interior angles now from the figure it is clearly visible that angle x is equal to angle 1 plus angle 2 so the value of x is nothing but angle 1 plus angle 2 which is equals to 30 degree plus 40 degree so x should be 70 degree so the answer is x equals to 70 degree now we move to the next question this angle is 110 degree and this angle is 130 degree and we have to find this angle x let's say this line is L and this line is M now again we have to do the same construction which is given that L is parallel to M and we have to find x now for this we have to do the same construction we have to draw a line which will pass through this point and parallel to L and M now this line L n is parallel to L as well let's say this angle is 1 and this angle is 2 as n is parallel to L therefore angle 1 plus 110 1, should be equal to 1 degree because these two forming a co-interior angles and the sum of the co-interior angle is 180 degree so angle 1 is equal to 70 degree in the same way, line M is parallel to L. Therefore, angle 2 plus 130 degree is equal to 180 degree. So, again they are forming a pointed angle. So, angle 2 equals to 180 minus 130 that is 50 degree. Now, from the figure, it is shown that uh, as the line N is a straight line, so the, all the angles forming at this point this point is P. All the angle forming at this point P should be equal to 180 degree. So angle 1, angle 1 plus angle X plus angle 2 should be equal to 180 degree. So the value of angle 1 is 70 degree plus X plus 2 is equal to 50 degree equals to 180 degree. So angle X equals to 70 plus 50 that is 120. So 180 degree minus 120 degree which should be equals to 60 degree so the value of x is 6 now we move to the next question here again this line L is parallel to M this line L is parallel to M now this angle is 30 degree this angle is 70 degree this angle is 60 degree and we have to find this value x it is given that L is parallel to L and we will find the angle X. Now let the point this point is P, this point is Q, this point is R. Now uh, for finding X, we have to draw a line at the point P, at the point Q and at the point R, which is parallel to L as well as parallel to L. So this is the line. N1 which is parallel to L as well. Now from the point R we have to draw one more line. Let's say this line is N2. So N1 and N2 both are parallel and both are parallel to L as well as parallel to N. So angle 70 is divided into two parts. Let's say this angle is 1. This angle is 2. Let's say this angle is 3. And this angle is 4. Now, as the line L is parallel to N1, so angle 1 should be equal to 30 degree, 
because they are forming the alternate interior as they are forming the alternate interior. as from the figure it is shown that angle 1 plus angle 2 is 70 degree so angle 1 is 30 degree angle 2 equals to 70 degree therefore angle 2 is 40 degree so the value of angle 2 is 40 degree and from the figure and from the figure it is clear that angle 2 is equals to angle 3 because the n1 and n2 are parallel and they form an alternate interior pair angle 2 equals to angle 3 because n1 and n2 are parallel and they are forming a linear alternate interior angles alternate interior angles there angle 3 is also 40 degree and it, uh, from the figure it is very clear that angle 3 plus 4 equals to 60 degree therefore angle 4 equals to 60 degree minus 40 degree which is comes to be 20 degree now again uh, from the figure it is very clear that the n2 is parallel to n2 n2 is parallel to n and angle 4 is equals to angle x because alternate interior angles they again form the alternate interior angles therefore angle 4 which is equals to 20 degree which is equals to angle x therefore angle x 20 thank you